your business, my business, any business. It's not rocket science, unless, of course, you're making rockets and you're in aeronautical engineering, or you're literally a rocket maker for NASA or Boeing or someone like that, whoever is involved in the space space industry now and Space Force, Elon Musk. If you're a, Elon Musk, it's rocket science. For the rest of us, business is way less complicated than the vast majority of us tend to make it. There's this thing called uh, complexity bias, or let me see, Com yeah, complexity bias. And it means that we as human beings, we like things that are medium complex. We don't like things that are too easy because we get bored. We don't like things that are too hard or difficult or confusing. We like to be somewhere in the middle. At least the vast majority of us do. But I don't know about you. I used to make manufacturing Italian food seem like the most complicated, most difficult, most challenging thing in the whole wide world. Then I came to the online world and I started to make that super duper complicated. But every industry, every business, every industry I've been in, every business I've ever been in, we can make it super complicated or we can break it down to what are the key elements, the key things, the key processes that we need to do to make our business successful. And those things are really, really simple. Usually there's a handful of or less of steps, actual things we need to do and pay attention to in any business or any industry. Have you, in your business, narrowed your business down to what those five key things are or those key steps, those key processes, those key measurements and indicators in order to run your business in a quick, efficient, and less stressful way. I actually, as I was researching this particular idiom or expression, it comes, of course, from the aeronautical aerospace industry, which there's there been, I, I looked up and researched, which was really interesting to me because I'm kind of a nerdy engineer, uh, the 10 most famous aerospace engineers. And they go all the way back to 1799 with Sir George Cayley. But the most, the father of aerospace, the father of rocket technology and science is considered the German Wernher von Braun. And I don't, I don't know who he is. I'm not that into rocket science. I have an uh, aunt and uncle that worked for NASA and uh, my uncle is a, I think he still consults with them, but maybe he's retired now. Uh, with NASA and Boeing and all the big aeronautical engineers. And he, indeed, is a rocket scientist. So that's why I've always gotten a, a kick out of this particular expression. It's also said sometimes it's not brain surgery, unless, of course, you're a brain surgeon, and then it is. And the whole point of this expression, this idiom, and a reminder for us in our businesses is that it doesn't have to be this hard. It doesn't have to be this complicated. Things are easy to do and understand if we break them down into little pieces and if we decide that they're going to be easy to understand and we can figure them out and manage them. Now, I was curious about this whole complexity bias thing, so I did a little research online because that's where we do research nowadays. We don't have to go to the Hill Reference Library or go to a library at all. Chances are a lot of the people that are listening to this have never even been to a library unless it was in your school. Uh, but I found an article that talked about the 21 ways that we complicate and make our lives more difficult. Now, if we're making our life more difficult, we're probably making our business more difficult. But I thought it was a fun and interesting list, so I'm going to grab my magnifying glass. I'm going to share it very quickly with you. I'm not going to discuss any of it. I'm just going to share them and see if you do any of these things in your business or in your life. Because I will admit right now that I am guilty of several of them. In the past, for sure, I'm sure I've probably done every single thing on this list, but now, I'm as I get older and more experienced and wiser, I am finding that the older I get, the more driven I am to, to keep things simple, to break them down to what is really important, what is urgent, what has to be done, what needs to be done, and what is just fluff and drama creation. So drama creation is, of course, on this list. So what are these 21 things? procrastinate, we procrastinate, we worry, we wait, we do more than we should, we accept too many interruptions, anyone ever do that? Corporate America, part of why I went to work at 3 a.m. and got there at 4 was because between 4 and 8, I could get more done in a day than most people got done in an entire week or sometimes a month because of all the interruptions. We seek approval or affirmation from others, anybody ever do that? Anyone? Anyone? 
uh, we're not really productive. We, we do busy things and pretend we're being productive, but what we're doing is really unimportant things that we don't have to do at all that just keep us busy. Maybe they're things we like to do. Maybe they're just things that keep us procrastinating from doing the things that really matter. We aim for control. We hold on to birds that need to fly, meaning we hold on to projects or people or things too long that we should have long since let go of. <clears throat> we participate in drama. We take one step forward and two steps back. We complain. We don't set boundaries. We compare ourselves to others. We aren't honest. We don't forgive. We focus on ourselves instead of others. We don't nurture our relationships. We live in the past. We try to cheat. We avoid the tough stuff. Uh, the, and then I've, I did a little more research and I looked into the <clears throat> most complicated things that people do. And I got a list of a hundred, I think. And I wrote a lot of them down. And I don't know that I would agree with some of them. I suppose the people going through them, the ones that I have experienced, I would say, yeah, those are tough. It was looking for the top 10, but the top 10 aren't necessarily my top 10. Uh, and they, they might not be yours either. People put school... Um, Accepting death, growing up, taking rejection, raising kids, being depressed, which I don't do, work, losing a loved one, losing a pet, controlling your actions, childbirth. Now, that's when childbirth was number 11, and I'm like, obviously, the research in, in this list were mostly, or maybe the participants were men, but childbirth wouldn't have been number 11 on my list. Um, getting dumped, and then the list goes on and on and on from there, and, and some of the things that I think have been the biggest challenges and the hardest things in my life didn't even make the top 100. Like I think dealing with chronic pain, dealing with um, an injury, a severe injury, things like that. But maybe it's because not everybody experiences those things that they didn't hit the list. Uh, but I think it's that when we look at our life and we look at our business and we find ourselves over complicating things, if we just step back, take a deep breath and ask ourselves what really matters in this situation? What is urgent? What's important? And, and we let go of all the ancillary details and we look from a more macro view, maybe that 30,000 foot airplane view, we have a clearer picture of what's really important in our business and in our life. So that's our expression, that's our idiom today. It's not rocket science. Love to know your experience with this particular expression and idiom. Share in the comments below. Otherwise, I'll be with you tomorrow for another interesting idiom. What does it mean? Where does it come from? And how might you use it in your life and in your business, especially right now? Take care. Catch you tomorrow.